Yeah. If money is a token of scarcity, then it stands to reason that the more of it you have, the more insecure you will feel. Right. And this is... Right. Um, so during the Occupy movement, um, we were at Occupy Philadelphia, and there was a homeless woman. There were a lot of homeless people there. And there was a homeless woman who um, received a windfall of $9. Someone had you know, owed her $9 or whatever, and she got $9. And she had had no food that day, and she had no prospect of receiving any more money uh, tomorrow. So what did she do with her $9? She went and bought food for herself and for another homeless person mm, beautiful. who needed the food. So basically, she spent her entire net worth on somebody else mm. when she had no food security herself. Right. And I think, so I, 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 when I consider that, uh, my question is, how can I get some of that? Mm. How can I have such an experience of security that I'm willing to spend my entire net worth without any guarantee of it ever coming back on somebody else. Where does that come from? And what would happen, I mean, how many wealthy people do you know who would willingly let go of, you know, even a tiny part hmm. of their net worth um, and feel safe in doing that? Right. P p part of the trouble is that it becomes people's identity. You know, it's not it's not just about their resources and how much money they've got and their, their lifestyle. It, it becomes their identity. It becomes who they know themselves to be. And I think that become that's terrifying to people when you start to shake the foundations of that. And it's yeah, it's also a proxy for. A proxy for other things. It's it's a substitute for um, other unmet needs. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you're lacking an experience of community in your life, an experience of connection, an experience of intimacy, an experience of of challenging your boundaries, then you can buy substitutes for those things. Right. Um, so, consumption can be a substitute for intimacy. Yes. Um, uh, fast sports cars can be a substitute for real adventure. Um, and and um, big bank accounts and lots of investments can be a substitute for real security, which comes from the feeling of being at home in the universe, the feeling of belonging. And we live in a society where we don't feel at home. We don't feel mm. like we belong. We're, we're kind of aliens here, partly because we've built a society where we're surrounded by strangers, strange faces, and, and not only strange people, but, but you know, we don't even know the names of the birds and the names of the trees and, and what medicine they could be used for. And even the, the created objects, the made objects, these are more or less always standardized commodities. So we lack that experience of intimacy, so we feel alienated, not at home. And, and that homeless person maybe didn't have that experience of alienation so much, and especially people in, in less developed countries. And I hate to use the word <laughs> less developed. <laughs> right. Depends, depends how you define implies, developed. Yeah. Yeah. It implies that we are more developed and that they right. will one day be like us and should be, be like us. But people in less developed countries, um, they tend to be very, very generous hmm. uh, and, and don't hesitate in, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's sometimes shocking almost how generous they are. And it's, I think it's because they have that feeling of belonging. They live, they're, they, they're embedded in, in, villages in a social matrix that um, is intimate. They, um, they're, they're some, the, the, the people around them know their story and they know their story and they know their parents and their grandparents. Mm -hmm. you know? And every plant, they know what it's used for and what it smells like and, and they know the habits of the animals around them and the smell of the soil and the name of that hill and that stream, like they're embedded. And they, they, 
and and perhaps also they're embedded in a lineage, in a history, yes. in a in a culture that's continuous. So modernization has stripped all of that away from us. So we feel alone and insecure. And then where do you get security? When when true security is gone, then the nearest and best substitute that's available to us mostly is money, mm. which gives kind of at least, you know, a temporary experience of I'm okay. I'm financially secure. I can pay for anything I need to. And as long, oh, but what if the stock market crashes? You know, how much money do you need to compensate for the loss of that feeling of being at home in the universe? Yes. Yes.